Hi, this is Captain Photo. And uh, yesterday we talked about Snapseed. And I recommended that everybody with an iPhone actually get the app Snapseed because it's so perfect for your go-to app to start really processing almost any photo that you take with your iPhone. So I thought today maybe it'd be good to demonstrate a little bit about what Snapseed can do, um, whether or not you have the app already. Well, let's take a look and see how we can use most of its features to improve a photo that, that I took, okay? Let's open up Snapseed. And let's grab a photo. And you do that by hitting that camera on the upper left uh, corner. Go to the photo library and let's choose this. Okay, now this is a picture of Avila Beach. Late in the day, you can't really see the uh, color that's in the sky. And one tip I can give you on when you take a photo with clouds in the sky or with something bright, put your finger on the bright spot on your um, iPhone and let the exposure um, be perfect for the bright spots and the shadows will get really dark and you get a dark photo like this one. But, you know, we can take care of that. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So here we have the photo of Avila Beach, and it's, uh, it's in Snapseed. First thing I'm going to do is go to the um, Drama filter. Now that's Snapseed shorthand for kind of HDR, a little bit, high dynamic range, which I do a lot of that uh, on my, with my big camera. On the other half of my blog is about HDR photography. This half is about iPhoneography. So when you open up Drama, um, there are several filters. If you hit this star on the bottom, it'll bring up um, several different filters of HDR, the bright ones, and then the dark ones. Um, usually this first one, the one that comes up by default, is the best one to use. And a couple of tips on this one. Uh, filter strength, I wouldn't run it up to 100 very often. <laughs> it just overdoes it. Um, but you'll see uh, that it also reduces the saturation when you use this photo. Um, I can show you before and after, and you can always see before and after on Snapseed by putting your finger on this icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, right there. And then Now that's the original picture we started with, and that's what we have so far. Now, to work Snapseed, you just put your finger on the screen and up pops the different modes that you can use. So we can play with the saturation or we can play with the filter strength. So the saturation needs to be boosted a little bit just because it always drops when we use the drama filter. Okay, So we'll run it up uh, not quite all the way. Filter strength, uh, we'll put it there at about 74%, okay? And then to process that much of it, you always hit this right-facing arrow at the bottom right of the screen. And now you have that much of the photo done, and you can use any of these other filters. Now, what I'm trying to do is bring back the color in the sky that was there when I took the photo. And so... I'm going to hit this first icon over here called automatic, and that'll, uh, that does a, like an automatic correction on here. But I'm going to use this color correction and run it up to uh, just warm it up just a little bit and process that. Then I'm going to go to tune image. Now that has your basic... Uh, functions for processing a photo, your brightness, contrast, uh, ambience or ambiance, uh, saturation, and white balance. So I'm going to go for the uh, ambiance, run that up a bit. That's bringing up some more color. 
And then I'm going to go down to this white balance and warm it up just a little bit more. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of late afternoon color in here. It looks a lot more like it used to. Now let's see what it, the before and after now. Okay, there's before and there's after. So let's process this. Now, a really cool feature of Snapseed is this thing called Selective Adjust. With this plus symbol down on the bottom, you can hit that, and then you put your finger where you want to do something. I want to do something right there in the sky where the sun is, where it was really nice and warm. And you have three different adjustments when you're playing with the selective adjust. You have brightness, contrast, and saturation. Well, guess what we're going to run up? Saturation. Pop that up a little bit. And if you put two fingers on the screen and spread them apart, you, you can actually see what part of the image is going to be affected by um, you know, whatever we do to it. So I think I want about that much of it affected. Let's run that up a bit more. Uh, might take the brightness down a bit. That tends to bring out the color a little more. Now let's see what we have before and after, before and after. Okay. And then if you want to copy that, okay, you just tap it and you go copy. And then you can go you know, put your finger somewhere else and hit the paste. And just, you know, then you can move it around to, to wherever you think you need it. Well, I want it up in the sky here. And then we'll do another one over here. Paste it again. Boom. It has little crosshairs, you can see, so you can really place it with precision. Okay? So now let's check the before and after. Before, after. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's process that by hitting the right hand arrow. All right. Now, I notice that the picture seems to be sliding off to the right side of the frame. I didn't quite have the camera straight when I took it. So there's a straighten tool here in Snapseed right there. Bring that up. Voila. Straighten it, process it, done. And now there's also a cropping tool. We'll crop it a little bit because I didn't do, see that real bright spot at the top? That's all just blown out sky. It's pretty unattractive. So we're gonna crop that out. And I didn't, you know, I didn't do a perfect job of setting the exposure on this. So, you know, that's, that's why you have the cropping tools. So that looks pretty good right there. So let's process that. And now there's the after. And, and you can always put your finger right on the photo itself. Just pop it on there and, you know, touch the screen and it'll show you the before and the after. Big difference, don't you think? Before and after. And that's all done with Snapseed. It's a basic go-to app. This is why I recommend everybody have it. And there are other features, too, um, that we didn't use. You can go black and white here. It has, uh, turn it black and white if you want. And uh, it has, you know, vintage filters. I don't use those very often. It has grunge filters. Not too many of them. I don't really use those. I have other apps for grunging, which we'll get into another time. Um, center focus, which is good for um, adding a vignette. And if you hit this icon, the star here, it'll bring up different types of vignettes, one for portrait, a couple of different ones for portraits. Here's a vignette. So we'll, we'll just go with that. It's adjustable too, but I, I think that one looked pretty good. Um, tilt shift. There's a couple of new, um, a couple of new features that came out when Snapseed went free last month. There's this one called Retrolux, and that has other, they're vintage type filters. They're just more filters that um, you can put your photo through. I don't use those too much. And then there's also frames. There's a 
decent selection of frames, but again, I have another camera app that I think does frames a lot better. And I, I, I like frames sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, here, we can put one on this just to show you how it works. There's a lot of white frames here, and then over on this side, there's a lot of black ones. I tend to like the black ones more. That's just me. It's all strictly personal. And we'll process this, and I'm going to call this done. Okay? I'm going to upload these to the website. This will be our day, what, number three of 2013 of uh, iPhoneography, and where I'm going to be doing a new photo every day, as long as I can stand it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for tomorrow's photo of the day.